Here we go. LB Dutch were starting off with the zoo versus made his druid and made his again playing the beast druid. The beast wow. druid he had so many success with in the first three weeks. He's thinking, I have to bring it back to secure myself the spot in the final. Yeah, beast druid, it has been doing very well for him before in this tournament, but queuing it against uh, zoo is going to be very hard here for mate. Let's see, can snowball the game with an innervate, which he has in hand. <laughs> and another innervate. <laughs> and another innervate, but nothing really big here to innervate besides their nuts is aspiring. Yeah, I still think you go for it. You really want to get on board as fast as possible. You don't want to get behind on board. And the Donuts Sprint gives you that extra mana from the innervate for a couple of turns now. And now Abby Dutch is in an awkward spot since he cannot really play his Voidwalker into it, right? So he'll just die by hero power trade. No, need not, uh, not the best here, but even though if um, Mate goes for uh, a hero power here, he can still pick it off with the Possessed Pillager, using that Dire Wolf to buff his Possessed Pillager. Mm, look at yeah, this that's draw. a really good draw. But maybe you save it for next turn. I mean, combining Savage Combatant with another hero, with a Innervate hero power. Oh, well, never mind. It's going to be really awkward because of the Nessus Aspirant dying. You're not going to be able to. Yeah, maybe this is the turn that you have to play Savage Roar. Play Savage Roar, trade away the Void Walker. With the Hero Power, you can trade away the Possessed Fitter just to protect your board and make it awkward for LB Dutch Boy. Oh man, this is a hard turn for me. He has so many opportunities like, of uh, ch things he can do. He can go for the Hero Power trade. It's the most safe play. It makes the most sense too, right? Like, if LB Dutch should find a way of dealing with the Darnassus, uh, Mate can just innervate the Savage Combatant anyway, and maybe he can pick up, like, a Living Roots with that? Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> what about just innervating the Savage Combatant? Get another body on board, so you're probably, probably really likely to pick up another minion that's playable, because Beast Druid has a very low curve. And, uh... No, actually that's right. I like that play too. Yeah, now the Dire Wolf will just yeah. get rid of the Donassus. This will really mess up Mate's curve. Yeah. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, a good draw right there. You really needed to pick up a tree drop. And, yeah, and uh, now that... And now that Imgangbos is not doing that much, though. Yeah, it's a 2-4, but... It can just deal with that... Um, Direwolf so easily. Yeah, that Druid of the Flame is going to be able to pick up a lot of traits here in this yeah. game. But what if you just play Savage Roar next turn? Play Savage Roar, trade away the Imgang Balls, use the Hero Power to use the... Of course, clear first the Dire Wolf. And then you have like a 2-3 body left against two one ones. Yeah, sure. Pretty decent. But really depends on the draw of May. Like, he still has that interface, so maybe if he picks up another minion with that, he can even innervate a minion with that, and then go curve out for a Savage Combatant. He can also go, just go for that Combatant, innervate Hero Power to kill the Dire Wolf, but... Oh, we dash were still thinking. Oh wow, that's well played by him. Mm. Kind of really hard turn here. Yeah. Combatant is still really good here. It's um, just playing minions overall. The strong because if you're, if you're on the removal plan too much against Sue, you often get overrun. Just generating tempo of your own, getting that a savage combatant is sick. It's going to be, um, I think it's an overall better plan for the for the beast route, just to be more aggressive. Yeah, and it's still a pretty awkward turn for LB Dutch, where like, he can curve out his mana, but he cannot remove anything, and that Savage Combatant is just gonna kill off an in-gang boss without giving a, a bunch of value for LB Dutch Boy. Oh man, that's such a huge draw! Yeah, but this allows you... him to curve out perfectly, but... Do you charge it or? Uh... No, 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 definitely not, right? Like, you can just play it in town mode, trade away one aim gang boss and trade the 1 1 with the Druid of the Flame. You can decide to charge it to kill off the other aim gang boss. I, I don't like it at all. Like, the 6 health is so much to deal yeah. with. For, um... And there was no soul fire. Like, that was a good read by me. If there was a soul fire, um, LB Dodge would have probably played aim gang boss and soul fire on the Savage Combatant, right? Like, there okay. was a. Oh man, tapping for Hobie Dodge on turn 5, that's exactly not what you want to do as a zoo versus Druid. And if he plays that second 7th Combatant, 
If May plays hero power, it gets five attack, and then the Imgang boss is just gonna get destroyed by the hero power. So many possibilities. Man. Indeed, and I'll be this way. He's just going to throw down his knife juggler, maybe even a void walker just to protect his life a little bit, but it's, it's yeah, not it's looking good for him. No, not at all. Your best bet is to pick up a soul fire next turn. So we just want to stall a bit and deal as much damage as you can. Your yeah, or something like a Doom Guard. It's also a card that can sure. really swing around the game. But with the hand right now, yeah, it looks really bad for him. Like Night Juggler, Voidwalker, or, or Flame Imp. It's his best play here. Is the Juggle gonna land? Oh, that's a pretty good juggle. They even have so two pretty. juggles. Maybe he's lucky. Oh, it is! Oh, damn. Wait, how much damage is this? What to do it of the Sabre? <laughs> it's, I don't think it's 23, but it's a lot of damage there, yeah. It's yeah. like 9, 11, and 12. Oh, wait, what? No, it's not bot list. Never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's 11 and 8. It's 19 damage. It's getting close though. Yeah, but it's not the time to go for it yet. You you had that savage roar, it will stick in your hand. I think uh May is just thinking about do I play the minion or do I just hero power? Like hero powering with double savage combatant can kill all the M gang balls. It's like your hero will get five attack. Okay? You, you want to destroy the knife juggler as well though. I mean, yeah, one hundred percent. But you can just trade the one one away with the 5-2 Savage Combat, and with the Druid of the Claw, you can trade away the Knife Juggler. What about just leaving the Imgang boss, because you're, yeah, you're actually very right. likely yeah. to kill your opponent next turn. And you could even just go for a big board here. Yeah, actually you're right. Like, what if he just trades with the Hero Power, the, the Flame Imp, and then the 1-1 one -one with the 5-2? There's no way that Imgang boss can get past the Druid of the Claw. Oh man, he's going face. Yep. Oh, and there it is! Look at so this! Far. Oh, this is a really good turn here for Abu Dutch Boy. The swing turn he was waiting for. Yep. Yeah. So this is a board clear for LB Dutch Boy. Yeah, and even develop. And there's the Doom Guard to follow it up next turn. Wow, that's brutal for Maid here. He was, it was looking so good for May, but just went so far. Okay, changing, okay. Changing, this is changing the game. This is also a really good draw. Like, the Druid of the Claw is so annoying for a Doom Guard to deal with. Oh, man. Is this for real? <laughs> you can just abuse it, right? Trade both minions into the Druid of the Claw. Get a healthy Doom Guard to the face. Seems pretty good. But I still think made made a pretty big mistake by trading away the, the Imgang boss. If he just traded away the Flame Wimp and made some value trades, he would probably have been in a way better spot right now. Yeah, LB Dutch really would have been way closer to death uh, if he would have just uh, cleared the Night Dragon or one face. But it, it was a solid line of play, though, from play for May to make because his board was looking very healthy at that point. Yeah, and there was no Soul Fire in the hand, otherwise, LB Dutch would have played it already. So, yeah, of course, that Soul Fire top deck was really good for LB Dutch way there. But hey, you didn't see any, so. Was he trading his two small minis? He could just choose to use his Doom Guard to trade as well. Oh, and uh, and a Void Walker. Oh yeah, so you have two minis left. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. But now you give up your Doom Guard though. Ooh, of uh, Yashrash. I mean, oh, it's a tiger. Oh wait, is this Leto set up? It's oh, guaranteed lead till next turn. What if you just face? No, no, you don't go face. It's no. six. Oh, you don't go face. Otherwise, if he trades the minion, you don't have lethal. So LB Dutch Boy is forced to pick up a town here. Or we will still lose the game. This game is also going up and out. What a final week we have here. So many close games. No, not the town he was looking for yet. And this is also the point. Do you want to tap? He needs an Argus at this point. Like, only an Argus is good here. No, and he didn't get it. No way to, to cycle here for LB Dutch Boy. I oh, mean, man. He can play the Imp and the Darkshire Labyrinth, but he's, he's dead. 
I look over at Deutschmark pointing at the stealth maze. He really wants to kill them off, but there is no way. There is no way you can kill those. What? Oh, no, even the swipe to. Uh, Why not kill it with the swipe? Come with on. The top deck swipe. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I guess May just wants to cash in on this win, and uh, another upset here as Bishu takes the win against Zoo, which is quite unlikely actually. Um, so. It would be amazing if you were sitting in front of each other and then you top deck that swipe where you already have Leto in hand and then jump off your chair and scream like, yeah, I top deck the Leto <laughs> and that tilt your opponent <laughs> to maximum levels. Yeah, <laughs> That would be amazing, right? True. Oh, man. Very. And, well, Mate is bringing some interesting decks here. He's also bringing the Camel Hunter. Uh, wow. I'm surprised to see how... how... Why Maybe? he's bringing it is, I mean, it's probably not that great against um, LB Dutch Boy's lineup here. Yeah. He's but... playing the zoo, another hunter. Hmm. But maybe he was thinking I have to counter something like Druid or yeah. Control Warrior. Like, Mid is well known about preparing a good lineup instead of bringing good decks. He's not, he's not the player that just brings four meta decks. If we look at the last week, he, he literally made a strategy every single week. Last week he brought Priest against uh, I'm not against Rachi, I think, since Rachi is playing those aggro decks, and then he was like, oh, I have to counter that. It's not working out for him that well since he's 3-3 right now, but if he wins this match, he's probably sure to get in that final. Yeah, both players having a really good opening hand. Especially I'll be Dutch boy with yeah. coin cloaked hunters into snipe and wow this and is Ketrick. and Katrick. Yeah. So And Katrick is insane, especially with that animal companion in hand of mate. So that mm -hmm. Katrick will probably instantly pop. Plus I'll be Dutch boy play Oh waiting, this desert cam was so bad since um you will give your opponent a secret the keeper. keeper. Yeah. Oh man. Well, you can just uh, trade the secret keeper away. With the Kindly Grandmother, but he doesn't know what type of traps these are. I mean, these, these, one of these could be freezing traps, so. Um, yeah. It's like the, be the best, too. Like, if he plays the Cloak Hunters, it gets sniped. And if he plays Animal Companion, it gets cat tricked. So, a really bad spot here for Maid. Look at the start of it. It's like the dream start. You cannot so. really have a better start. Yeah, and now Maid knows there's a cat trick and a snipe. Yeah, he knows it's not freezing or explosive, so it has to be snipe or snakes or um <laughs> they both get cat chick. <laughs> yeah, bye bye desert camel. Indeed. And now LB Dosh can just trade away the secret keeper here and then play the secret Oh he can't even play secret since he already has the cat trick up. No, but he can play a skinly grandmother and use there's an. You could actually use a quick shot here, but he's not going to. Just takes takes the value trade. Oh, there we go. There's the own cloak huntress, but it will proc that um, cat trick though. It's pretty hard turn here. It's hard for me to come back in this one, but he has the tools to do it. No, cat trick is extremely hard. You need to kill that cloak huntress. Um, yeah, but. Do you have to kill it right now? Like, you knew there wasn't played another C. Oh, Huffer. So now you can trade the Kolo Tantras. Oh, wow, he's going for value trades? That's ballsy. <laughs> I guess he's thinking, like, that's the only line where I'm still able to win the game if I. Yeah, if that I... makes sense. Now the second cat trick is coming out. You Pretty can just annoying quick shot me. one of these. Trade the other away, and then just smart away. Yeah, but you get so much damage by this cat trick. Yep. Decent swing turn here by May with the, with his own cloak hunters and quick shot. Yeah, but we know the LV Dutch yeah. boy just has another cat trick, so that's just another huffer to May's face. That's a pretty weird quick shot, actually. You know that there are not a lot of there are not more secrets in the hand of Elby Dosho. You know that. Otherwise they would have been played. So if you quick shot the cat in the hat, you had a value trade on the other cloaked hunters, and now you didn't have that. Hmm. Questionable play there. 
Yeah, but Maid is mm -hmm. taking too much damage here. Even though when Maid uh, finds so Oh, and now he... Oh, no, Rag is already in the head. Yeah, yeah. Rag is not an out here. I'm not sure anything is. <laughs> Definitely not that. out, Master. No. Oh, man. I'll be Dutch, but he's going to be dealing too much damage, especially with that bow pickup. Can yeah, deal but... 11 damage to... Uh, to Maid's face. Or he could just play the high main as well. Yeah, I like the smart tactic better, I think. Like, that, that yeah. guarantees you win 100%, right? Yeah, you put I, him on, uh, on the clock, like, with two hero powers. Yep. But if you play high main, it's such a big big threat that the hunter never can deal with, so that will probably give you the win anyway. Uh, at this point, it doesn't matter what oh, we Dodger is going to do. He's going to win 100%. Yeah, I think the, the bow is still safer. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, and, well, I can see it. And made no, so made all the way has 27, so... Uh, LB Dutch Boy taking the win with his hunter. I'm surprised. To see, I'm very curious to see like how that Desert Camel is going to do versus um, versus the other decks from LB Dutch Boy. Yeah, LB Dutch Boy has the Warrior left, so maybe if it's Control Warrior, Mate will have a good shot with that Desert Camels uh, coming uh, coming in. But yeah, we will see. We know LB Dutch Boy likes to play his Dragon Warrior too, so. Um... Also, the Camel Hunter is not that great against the um, against the Zoo, so we'll see what's gonna happen here. Oh, and LB Dodge Boy gets the Zoo against the uh, Maid's Hunter. Yep. Be great here for uh, LB Dodge Boy. It's gonna happen here. He has the Cloaked Hunters and the Freezing Trap, so if you can manage to pick up a, a few more secrets, then this could be like a really explosive Cloaked Hunter's turn where Hunter just gets the blowout on Zoo. Yeah, and Freezing Trap can be actually pretty good. Oh, and there's even the bow. So now I can go in on Cloaked Hunter's Freezing Trap. But Freezing Trap of... Oh, man. This is such a good... Yeah. It's going to be really hard for a mate. I'm so... I'm curious to know why he actually kept Kindy Grandmother, because it doesn't do yeah. a whole lot. Because you're coining out Cloaked Hunters on turn two, most of the time anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you would really want to have more secrets, something like explosive trap or snipe, and it, and what you say, you're definitely gonna coin out that cloaked huntress. So that kindly grandmother is pretty weak, especially against zoo. It's only one one. They will just ignore it or find find a turn that they can just value trade both the both the minions. So keeping the kindly grandmother here is a little bit shaky, but that bow is gonna do a lot of work. Too bad he doesn't get an extra charge since the freezing trap will probably be procced before the bow this comes out. Oh, that's such a loss for LB Dutch Boy. Yeah, that soul fire is really good against, uh, well, what made is most likely going to play this turn, the Cloaked Huntress. But what if you just went for the bow this turn? Trade away a minion, go for Cloaked Huntress next turn, so you get an extra charge on your bow. And maybe an extra secret, even. I mean, yeah. Would have been Wait. bad as well. Clean. Made is actually playing really fast. He didn't think think about his turns here, but... Oh, <laughs> now we dodge, he has to tap on turn three. As a zoo. Yeah, that's one of the worst things that can happen. Oh, and, and the freezing... So he finds out that it's freezing. He gets to play the Possessed Villager, but... Any secret that Mage just draws here is, is free of charge, so um, yep. when Mage finds the secret, well, there's the Desert Camel. I don't yeah. think you even play it against Sue, it's too much of a risk, especially with no secrets in hand. Yeah, you know what it is, you can just easily set up for a uh, kindly grandmother um, monster turn, so you can just go for the grandmother next turn. See what happens, and still not re no removal play here for LB Dodger. That Cloaked Hunters will still be alive. But Aim Gang Boss is going to be one of those minions that's really sticky. You could also go for the Councilman, even. Yeah, but do you? It's going to get traded away. So yeah, you can go Councilman into Void Walker, right? Yep. Protect it a little bit. And if mm. your opponent kill commands it, you're most likely fine with it because you still have Doom Guard as a follow-up. Yeah, that's true. I think Alby Dutch has just to go for the Doom Guard in turn five to get get the game to his side. But Mate just has to find a way to smork him down in like a couple of turns here. This game is gonna be really bad for him. What's 
gonna happen here. It's nice to go for the end game boss. Melby Dutch is really taking this time on this one. This means that his tryhard mode is on. I mean, even though he didn't can come fully prepared, he's here to win. That high man. Yeah. Not the best hand here for Maid. He can play a skinly grammar and maybe even the injured Caval here. What if he just decided to go for the desert camel? Yeah. Like, it gives you also a minion, right? And it can give you the Kvaldir. I don't think he even, he even plays very bad, so your one drop will be better than his. And then you also have, like, a target for the for the Houndmaster next turn to get some value off. I don't know. It's a pretty hard turn. Like, otherwise you have just have to play Kindly Grandmother Hero Power or something like that. That's so weak. True. But, like, this could be very weak as well, because he's playing, well, Secret <gasps> Keeper. And, uh, yeah. And oh, LB what? Dutch Boy gets the Malkazar Imp. He has to force, he has to take the weapon into the Malkazar Imp because, yeah. well, if LB Dutch Boy would play that Doom Guard, then basically draw two free cards. So, um, even though this is a solid board for Maid here. Yeah, pretty good board, but LB Dutch Boy can. Yeah, he cannot really make value trades actually. Yeah, he can ram the Doomguard into something like a Doomguard. I think he just trade away the Desert Camel. He cannot leave up that 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 beast, right? It's too scary to leave up for things like Kill Command or Hunt Master. You could also uh, trade the M Gang Balls into the Cloaked Huntress and then your Doomguard into the. Um, the Desert Camel, so you then take care of the two biggest threats on the board, the um, the Free Secret Machine and the Beast, which will disable Kill Commands and Houndmasters. Yeah, you're actually oh, right. Go oh. for the tap here, wow, that's very what? surprising. Yeah, he has a full, full hand. He really wants to get that cycle going. He really wants to get the max value yeah. from Malchers in. But this is risky, this might just give Maid the time to come back here. Oh, and he even picks up a secret. But it's not the right the secret he was looking for. Like, Catrick is one of those secrets. They're not gonna see a lot of play against the zoo, since they don't... They only run soul fires, but... I was already discarded one of those. Even if you have monsters the Desert Camel, he doesn't have a really good trade with the Darkshire Councilman, so... Yeah, but you can just remove the, um, the M Gang boss, right, for free. True. Oh man. Maid is in such a bad spot here. Since especially when LB Dutchberg comes up with that, that imp into Doomguard, drawing two cards. Maybe he can even pick up a silverware golem next next turn. To make it even better for him. That's just a dream, right? I mean yeah, but... <laughs> Cycling, building a board. But uh let's see how Maid goes about this because this this trade is pretty important. Oh, or man. not trading at all. May just remember what class he's playing, and uh, <laughs> it's going face. Yeah, and he went for the strategy like uh, two games ago with the Druid. Ignore the board, go for the face plan, and it worked out for him. You are not the boss of me. Like, he's on 13 HP, and there's no way Elby Dutcher can remove everything here, right? Yeah, it's going to be very hard. Really yeah, but he still has to trade two minions into the into the desert camel. That six health is so huge for him. Oh wait, he has enough. He can deal with yeah. the entire board actually. Oh man, May, do you play unleash the hounds or this game is gonna be really hard for you? Since there's lethal on the board for LB Dodge Boy. The crazy thing is that he gets to keep the councilman as well, so it's going to continue to be a threat. But LB yeah. Dutch Boy could put Maid on an explosive here, because he doesn't know what type of secret this is at all. Not yet, he didn't detect the face to check it out. Snipe a little bit late, there's... This is lethal for next turn, I think it's lethal for LB Dutch Boy, since the... Maid doesn't have any way. Oh, he's going to fake the explosive here. Yeah, this is his only chance of winning, but... Oh man, this is such a close game. Does LB Dutch Boy buy it? Is he gonna trade away the the kindly grandmother? I think he's going to test with his uh, one one first. 
see uh, what type of secret um, oh, yeah. Mage has played. He must be so scared right now. What is this secret going to be? If, if it's explosive trap, oh man, he's trading with the imp first. Oh, that's, that's strange. If it's freezing, then probably one share one one token to get frozen. There is so no freezing, so the, the chances is going to be explosive, explosive trap is going to be bigger and bigger. Abusive yeah, no, he, he actually traded that way because um, if it wasn't freezing, then now he gets to buff his 1-1 uh, imp and make the trade, but uh, this is a hard turn, man. Secret Hunter, just playing those secrets, just makes your turn extremely hard, and you can see LB Dutch were already roping on this one. Now he knows it's Snipe, so... Yeah, but he still doesn't know if it's Catrick or... Um... Yeah, he's really scared of an explosive, but I think he's just going to go for it here. Yeah, you have to at this point, right? And uh, there we go. Oh, and this is it! Yep. Exact lethal for LB Dutch Boy. Well played here. Yeah, really well From played. From both right? sides. I mean, Mate actually just played to his outs, just trying to fake that explosive, but LB Dutch Boy didn't buy it at all. Definitely not. And that's 2 1 for LB Dutch Boy. So LB Dutch Boy is leading in the game that Mate has to win. So, Mate. You have to go for it now. You have to make that comeback uh, possible. But well, as we saw some incredible comebacks like a couple of weeks ago or a week ago in the World Championship, maybe can mate uh, can put it off here. Definitely. Um, <gasps> very curious to see what type of warriors these two players are bringing in. See LB Dutch Boy bringing out the Dragon Warrior, and Mate is bringing the Kat uh, Katoon Control yep. Warrior. It looked yeah. like with Sagan in it, so... Uh... <laughs> Def definitely an interesting matchup here. Like, if if Elby Dutchwork can push that early game damage, it's gonna be hard for me to um, to get in the game since it's such a late game oriented class, the, the, the Control Warrior of Archetype, but... Mate finds his early game, he finds the Warrex, he finds the Katoon's Chosen, and the Bash, so he can even curve out perfectly. Find the perfect answers uh, to deal with the means of LB Dutch Boy. Meanwhile, LB Dutch Boy doesn't have a bad curve himself. I mean, to Alex Tazo Champion, into Warrex, into Monkey, into maybe a Twilight Guardian. It's a pretty good game plan. Also, the Justicar in Mate's hand can uh, oh, yeah. definitely be great when entering the later stages of the game. Especially having the Justicar on turn six. Oh, man. Oh, Ooh. shield block. Nice pick up there. Definitely filling up the... Oh, what? Even Tink's... That can be actually pretty good later on to do with a rack or with a Dragonite Crusher. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a pretty good card. So, uh, do you go for the Frothing here or for the Monkey? Mm. Yeah, if you go for Frothing here, you get punished by Ravaging Ghouls so hard. But it's the same for Monkey. You can even... I, I really like coining out the Drake, right? Like a 3-6 body? Uh, you don't have uh, another dragon in hand, so... <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> never mind. It's going to be a, a little two dragon. Six. Yeah, that's pretty weak, yeah. So, um... Katoon's yeah, just... shows and is going to contest this very well. But now the Frothing is going to be huge for uh, LB Dutch, but he can play Frothing and Acre and then hit with his weapon. Hey, that's sick. And no answer for me. That's 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 the worst part. He needs to find the brawl fast, or maybe something like a I don't know even what can help him here. Revenge will help him. Hmm. Ancient shield bear. No, well, still, it's another late game card. But that frothing is, is yeah. left there on the table and. That thing can just get huge versus uh. Do you go for the Yolo Tank Master here? Nah, it's it's too weak, right? I mean, you can make the Floating Berserker like a squirrel. There's a small chance, like a one in six, that that, that happens. Like, you can make it a five five as well. It doesn't only make squirrels, monk like. <laughs> oh, makes, okay. Uh, Try it. Yeah. <laughs> Or do you just drop down the Katoon's Chosen? You have that uh, Asian Shield Bearer in hand, so if you make your Katoon now 10 10, your Justicar and Shield Bearer will keep you alive for a long time. 
mean, the tank master is just too weak, right? If you, even if you get the tank master, the talent, then you still, you're not able to clear the frothing berserkers. So exactly, yeah. It's just I like, like dropping on shows yeah. in here. He's still on 32 HP. Oh. Oh, he's going for the thing oh, master. Man. Great to five five. <laughs> Elmer Dutch boy showing out the greetings. He knows. That he knows so what good, this though. means. So this is uh, another ten damage to the face. Oh, look at the drop from Elmer Dutch boy. Finally purchased as with the black and karate. Yeah, and now mate has to find that brawl, or this game is gonna get. It's gonna be over soon. Really soon, actually. Nate fights the Katoon, but uh, not, a few not turns away from that. There's 15, 18 damage on the board, and with the trap. Oh man. Yeah, he's attacking here. He just wants to armor up and. Yeah, but. He's still he's taking 10 damage every turn. Yeah, now his Katoon is not 10. Yeah, it's Because he was not playing the Katoon's Chosen. And the Tuber doesn't find play now. We play there with the Tink Master. Now, what's Zalby Dutch Boy going to do here? Is he going to fully commit to the board? Yeah. It's, it's kind of weak to brawl, but still, you're in a good spot. You have Azure Drake to follow up and also Grom. Yeah, but you can, uh, you can say that there's no brawl in the hand of Mate since he didn't play... Um... The last couple of turns. Yeah. yeah, he didn't. Yeah, this is it already. This is it for Mate. Well, oh, Elby oh, Dutch Boy no. just smoked his yeah. way to another victory, putting him 6-1 in total.